Hi there, everybody. So today I'm here with my friend Bri. Hi. And we're on holiday. And you have called this video American versus British. It's, it's part of the series. Even though I'm Irish, so you wouldn't change the title. You wouldn't change the <laughs> title for me. You you know some British customs though, right? Oh yeah, we all do. I mean, you're part of the area. Right. Europe-ish. Okay. Ireland is like all best buds. It's all right. <laughs> Let's just make the video. So today we wanted to talk about the cool and interesting differences between holidays. Because we're on holiday, so I was like, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. The biggest holiday for family, as far as where I'm from, is Thanksgiving. Like, that's where all of your extended family comes around. A big table, eats mm. turkey, yams, sweet potatoes. You got some marshmallow on those yams, those candied yams. You got stuffing. There's pumpkin pie, no matter what. Sweet pumpkin pie. Sweet pumpkin pie. Or sweet, sweet pecan potato pie. pie. Sweet, pot sweet potato pie is amazing. But then, when it comes to Christmas, we don't really... Like, it's big, but it's not as big as Thanksgiving. Is that like, I guess you guys don't have that. Well, we don't have Thanksgiving, Evan, but on November 1st every year, mm -hmm. I put my Christmas tree up with candies. November 1st? November 1st. That's so yeah. early. That's a 55 day countdown. Wow. Mm. Well, mm. you got that memorized. Mm. Well, it's not really hard, but oh. let's just do the month. Um, yes, I love Christmas, not in a religious way, because I'm not religious, but just the giving and receiving, I find, of presents. It's just enough for me to get excited. And fairy lights. If fairy lights oh, I love fairy lights. were all year round, then that would make me... No, actually no, because then I wouldn't get excited about Christmas. Never. No. So do you like literally just take off your costume from Halloween and go, Christmas! I don't like Halloween. There it is. Really? Yeah, Halloween is. is like one of my favorite holidays. I hate it. I do you guys it. celebrate it really big in Ireland? Yes, and that's why I don't... Oh, it's going to get real deep now. If you're not as popular as the other kids, Halloween isn't a, a nice night for you. Oh, Ireland. really? Yeah. I would just go Halloween trick-or-treating with my brother, and yeah, I dress up as something silly, but I just wanted free candy. We get so much. Oh, that's much. great. Yeah, but you can't do that after your what age? I kept going till I was 17. Okay. Because well, I really... had a baby face, and I was like, <gasps> give me some candy. It's a bit creepy, but... Well, I just wanted candy, mate. It's not really socially acceptable to go past <laughs> the age of 12 in Ireland. You should be drinking. Yeah. You should be drinking after Drinking that. at yeah. Halloween. I don't drink anymore, but I used to drink back then. So Halloween was just this nightmare of a night where everyone would just get plastered and fireworks. And when you are drunk and there's fireworks everywhere, a bit mm -hmm. dodgy, you know. We get three months of school holidays what? from June to August. Okay, same. Yeah. We have this thing called the Gale Tucked in Ireland, because that's where I'm from, I'm Irish. Like I said. The Gale Tucked? Yeah, the Gale Tucked basically is an Irish speaking only place where you go, if you're a 15 year old insecure boy, you go there for two weeks and you have to speak Irish. The good thing is, it's where you meet girls for the first time. Oh. Yeah. But you can't speak English. If you speak English more than four times, your name gets put in a book every time and you get sent home. I was in the book five times. Man. Wow. Yeah. So I'd just be like, do you witch? Do you yeah, witch? Exactly. I mean, we just had Boy Scouts, so. With the little. Yeah, I'd be in summer camp, so we'd spend one week in summer camp, but that was just with boys. So, just I mean, boys. unless I'm looking for boys. You could have been looking for boys. Could have been looking. Were you looking for boys? I you wasn't looking, looking for boys. boys. In America, I know from where I came from, one of the biggest holidays of all time was St. Patrick's Day. I appreciate that. But, like, literally, there's a, there's a bar at my university in New Jersey that had a clock on it that said how many days were left until St. Patrick's that's Day. That's pretty sweet. I do that for Christmas. I don't even do that for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> but you're, I don't know, that's, it's such a big drinking holiday. Everyone just goes out and gets completely wasted. Do you know who St. Patrick is? He was a man who played a flute and got snakes to leave the country of Ireland. He, flute. he did get the snakes to leave, though, because apparently Ireland was full of snakes. Which you could believe easily. And... He got rid of them, and we celebrate his existence every 17th of March, and everybody just gets pissed, and... And four-leaf clovers. Ireland doesn't even do it the best. Like, we don't even celebrate it. Really? The... Well, we do celebrate it. We don't celebrate it good compared to America, compared to Asian countries. Everybody just goes mad for St. Patrick's Day. Do you guys have a lot of fireworks during holidays and things? We do. We love a good firework. Because we're, we're like, oh, is it the day the county might have been founded? Yeah, go for it. Next week? It's oh, firework. it's a... Somebody's birthday. Fireworks! Have you ever lit a firework yourself? I have. Was it alright? It was alright. Yeah. Same as firing a gun. You kind of just do it and go... <laughs> you fired a gun? Oh, I fired a gun. You fired a gun? I fired many guns. Ooh. I was in the Boy Scouts. You fired guns in the I've, Boy Scouts? I used to own a 410 shotgun and a 12 gauge okay. and a 20 gauge. Boy Scouts and a black is powder. vastly different in America. Well, you guys, we did bow and arrow as well. I'm good at archery. Oh, sure, yeah. This, <laughs> this became less holiday and more like Evan holding guns. Boy Scouts seem so much cooler now than it did five minutes ago. Yeah. I that, guess. Everyone takes the piss out of me in England. Like, when I came to England, I was like, oh, I'm an Eagle Scout. Where in America, everyone's like, oh, yeah, here's a job. In England, they're like, <laughs> yeah. Well, when the school year is just about to end in around June, do you guys have some big type of school holiday where you, where you all go out for recess all day? We call it Flag Day, and we all have to wear red, white, and blue, 
and we play loads of fun sports. We play video games outside, like little tic-tac-toe games. It's really fun. Yeah, we call it Sports Day. Sports Day. That's literally one of my favorite days it's and memories of school, is, is all this stress yeah. and then fun all yeah. day. Except For those most people watching from Ireland or mm. Britain right now, because they're different places. Different places. Would wear a uniform to school. Oh. So the idea of a non-uniform day. Oh, so you get to for one time not wear. Oh you. yeah, yeah, like oh, once, once every nice. three months, and you pay a pound, and mm -hmm. it goes to a charity of some choice. But that day is just oh, everything is so much better. Yeah. When you're not in that, you never experienced. No, itchy, I I wore whatever I wanted. It's disgusting, Evan. I feel like I would have been better off with the uniform because I always looked terrible because and you got I just wore like. About, no, get, no. My thing as a kid was I had this mindset where I was like, I don't care what people think of me. Okay. So I didn't care for myself. I didn't look good. I didn't dress good. Cause I was like, I don't care. I'm here to learn. So I didn't really have many friends cause I kind of looked like a tramp. Right. But I, if I had a uniform, I think I might have had more friends maybe. Well, my name is blurry face and I care what you think. <laughs> you guys celebrate Valentine's day as big as we did. Bigly. As big I don't anymore, but back in the day I did, but I will give you a little story if I may. Okay. I gave a girl when I was 12 called Susan. Hello, Susan, if you're watching. I'm sure she, she watches that. She's a big fan. She's a big fan. Susan, I gave her a necklace. Now, I went to the, the local jewelers and got this. It cost £15, which is a lot of money for a 12-year-old at the time. Yeah, wow. Well. And I wrote her Valentine's card, and I gave her a little necklace, and I asked her, would she go out with me? And that was completely not like me, because I was very shy, but I just really, really liked this Susan girl. Yeah. And uh, she accepted, and I had a girlfriend, and then two hours later, she sent one of her friends saying Susan's changed her mind and that kind of ruined Valentine's Day for me since Wow, did you get forced to do it in school? Oh, yeah, big time. I yeah, mean, like awful. I remember every everyone had to have these little folders in the front of their desks Yeah, and you had to like I remember the day before my mom would help me and have to write dear Gina dear Susan And you know I'd have to write all these out and like with a little Gina. candy and you pop them into everyone's little things And it was very happy. What if you are demisexual? Well, what if you're demi-romantic or aromantic? You just kind of go with the flow still. That's what oh, I did. Yeah. I was like, I'm just com doing what society wants me to do. Yeah. Was there any boy to boy, girl to girl? Back then? Oh, I mean, you did it to everyone. Oh. It was very lovely in that way. Oh, that's yeah. quite nice. Yeah, you kind of just put them in everyone's. But what if you're like the Ralph Wiggum who doesn't get any? I don't, oh, that does happen. Like I got a very small amount. I think oh, my man. last year doing it and I went, oh. We have Arthur's Day in Ireland, which celebrates the guy that made Guinness <laughs> really? Yeah. He made us great beer. Yeah. Celebrate. Arthur Guinness made Guinness in the year 1752. And basically what you do on Arthur's Day is at 1752, you're supposed to drink a pint of Guinness and cheers your friends. That's a good marketing campaign. That's brilliant. It was a tradition in my family that every time New Year's Eve came, you all gathered around the TV and watched the ball drop in New York City. Or Maybe that's just, just because I'm from that area. Go outside. And do what? Oh, we do like we gotta watch the ball drop on TV. We do fireworks and we do essentially what happens on Halloween. Uh, oh yeah, we'll do that. Day. We'll have like these yeah. noisemakers and things, but we're also gonna watch the ball drop and be like, yay! As you build up to it so much. It's gonna be the best. It's gonna be the best. And then you're Next like, it's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, there it is. It's the same. It's twelve o'clock. I mm -hmm. used to love Easter because uh, free candy. Well, free candy, but also because my family were very into the whole Easter bunny thing. Oh. And the, the doors got closed. And they're like, oh, he's here, he's here. And I genuinely thought behind that door it was just a big stupid man in a bunny costume. Which is so stupid now that I think of it. Well, I, yeah, I liked it because my family did this thing for Easter where they'd hide, the Easter bunny would hide his basket of chocolates. He did that too. And I had to find it. And yeah. one, I remember one year, which is the last year we did it, I ended up crying because I was it. so upset. I couldn't find it. Mom's like, keep looking. And I was like, I don't want it anymore. And then she'd put it like under my pillow. And I was like, <laughs> But I slept on that. She went, you're a deep sleeper. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. I liked that part, though. That was fun. And the Easter egg hunt. You guys did that as well. Yeah, we did that. Oh, that's yeah. In America, we have a lot of really silly holidays. And by silly, I mean just a day off. You're like, why are we off today? Oh, it's like George Washington's birthday or something. There's a bank holiday in Ireland to start mm -hmm. in May to celebrate Mary. Oh. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I guess we're similar in that way. My mom's name is Mary. Oh, congrats. <laughs> she gets a day every year. She gets a day. And you have a different name for this, and we've argued about it before. Oh, what is it? It um, goes by the name of Pancake Tuesday. Which, oh. Which you call Shrove. What, what'd you call it? Fat Tuesday. Oh, okay, that's even. Some worse. people call it Shrove Tuesday, but we call it Fat Tuesday. Okay. That's when you you patchy. go to church and you eat oh, everything church. you can in terms of like carbs, pancakes, waffles, French toast, oh. all of it covered in syrup, and you just for dinner, for breakfast, for lunch. I love that as a kid. Fat Tuesday, America. Pancake Tuesday. <laughs> I was born on Pancake Tuesday. Really? Yeah. 
So I visit my family every year on that day and I get one more pancake than everybody else because I was born. <laughs> Happy birthday. We didn't get your present. It was yeah. pancake. pancake. What do you guys do in Ireland for Pancake Tuesday? Just eat pancakes? You Believe it or not, you eat pancakes. Yeah, we have a bit of lemon and sugar in there. Oh, no. A bit, bit of Cadbury's buttons melted up. A bit of Nutella. A bit of That's strawberry and cream. Pancakes in your country aren't pancakes. No, they're crepes. They're crepes. Yeah. Pancakes in America are these thick colostrum it's things. Like, I prefer the crepes. I'm more of a French kind of guy myself. Not a crapper. Not a crapper. Well, I don't give a crap what you think. Did you guys ever have a clown for your birthday? I don't want to say that clowns terrify me because that's a kind of a cliche, but I just don't find them to be pleasant in any way. No, they're not enjoyable. That's just a man with really weird makeup on his face. Yeah. I liked the balloon animals and I liked face paint, but... I never like face paint. A child, a big sticky child coming up to you with face paint. Oh. Stay away from me and my children, you know? I just don't... Yeah, they're a and pain they, to look if, at. If, stop it. They, if they're dressed... <laughs> if, if they're a line and they go... Rah! So, oh, stay... The whiskers come from yeah. inside. Yeah, okay. The whiskers come from within. When I said come from inside. Oh, sounds a bit worse. <laughs> oh! Is there any specific thing that you think of when it comes to September? Sadness. Well, S back, sadness. back school. in the past, yeah, sadness. I was, I, was, I was happy to go back to school. I like school a lot. But I'm weird. No, that's not weird. That's very commendable, and I appreciate it. Yeah, so that. I don't know if you're from a different country other than Britain or America. If you have different holidays that we missed out on, I'm sure there's, like, Chinese New Year have a lot of really cool celebrations. I've been to, like, one of those. Jewish and Muslim things. Yeah, so tell us. Otherwise, uh, if you did like the video, give it a like below. Also, please check out Bry's channel. He makes sure they get music. I did a cover one once. It was pretty good. You did. God only knows with Dodie. Yeah. Great. And also, subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Sunday. Other than that, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Wait, can we wait yeah. for this police car? Someone on holiday has been a naughty little boy. My mom just Instagrammed this picture of me the other day. Okay. Right here. Do you see it? Wow. I can't believe I just did this naturally and you looked over. <laughs>